You've been shiny hunting for a while and probably have a lot of shiny Pokemon already, right? What about that elusive hard to get shiny that's still out in the wild? Don't have it? Here's a method that might make that shiny dream come true. And it involves some math. Well, sorta. What I'm going to show you is a heavily researched way to shiny hunt for a specific Pokemon in Legends Arceus. We'll call it the permutation method because the math was already done. Essentially, we're going to go to a specific massive mass outbreak and go through every possible variation of a Pokemon spawn by using a combination of catching and knocking out a specific number of Pokemon. As a prerequisite, you will need to play through the story to unlock the request a new anomaly, and complete a series of requests until daybreak has been completed. This will unlock massive mass outbreaks for us to start some shiny hunting. You also want to turn off autosave as well. If you want to change that 1 out of 315 chance of a shiny, complete research level 10 for a Pokemon to get it to 1 out of 293, or perfect the research to bump it up to 1 out of 256. If you have a shiny charm, just having a level 10 research will get you to 1 out of 241 chance, and a perfect research level will get you a 1 out of 216 chance of a shiny Pokemon. Once you're geared up for the hunt, head to the gate in Jubilee Village and save. Talk to Ress and select which area you want to do your hunt. If there's multiple, you can head to one area and pay Munchlax the fee to see what outbreaks are there. If there's not one you're interested in, you can reset the game and check out the other ones. After you've chosen which area to hunt in, we're going to look for a mass outbreak that has a star icon, because those will guarantee a new horde for this method to work. Other outbreaks do have a chance to create a new horde after completion, but I don't recommend it because it's more time consuming. If you want, you can save here and check out which outbreaks can create a new horde. Another thing to note is that this method will not work for every Pokemon because we will need to be able to initiate multi-battles. I'll have a link below that lists all the Pokemon that can multi-battle. Once we've chosen which outbreak we're going to do, let's head over to the general vicinity of that outbreak. Before we start anything, we should save far enough to where the you found the Pokemon that were reported text line doesn't appear. Next, we're going to catch every single Pokemon to scope out what appears in the new horde. Do take note of how many Pokemon are in this first horde. When the new horde appears, catch three of them to see the rest of the horde. If nothing shiny appears, we'll reset the game and start the permutation. The chart I use is from this website called Shiny Hunter Club, and this is what we'll be using to navigate through the permutations to check through every possible Pokemon that can appear in that second horde. Again, links will be in the description below. Remember how many Pokemon were in the first horde? Use that to select the number of spawns in the first wave, and the chart will update to show you how many permutations there are for us to try. With 8 in that first horde, there's 25 permutations we can go through. If there's 9, that number jumps up to 49, and if that outbreak had 10 in its first horde, good luck to you if you want to go through 94 permutations. Personally, I would just do the first 10 permutations to keep things simple, but if you're really determined, hit that like button and leave a comment about your success stories. I love to see what shiny Pokemon you got. When reading the chart, C stands for catch and KO stands for knockout. You'll notice that there are some knockouts grouped by color. That means that we'll have to initiate a multi-battle and knock out a specific number of Pokemon to perform the permutation. You can initiate a multi-battle with more than the required to knock out, so long as you only knock out the specific number. So in our first permutation, we'll want to do a multi-battle and knock out just two Pokemon. Leave the battle if there are more in it, and then catch the rest. The next permutation, we'll do three knockouts, and then the next, we'll do four knockouts. After that, we'll knock out two in one multi-battle, and knock out two in another multi-battle. All of this will happen for the first horde of the outbreak. Continue down the line for however long you want to hunt. Now that we've covered the chart, we can go back into the game and actually perform these permutations. For some Pokemon, you might have trouble initiating a multi-battle with them. If you're hunting for one of these problem Pokemon, you can try stunning them and throwing your Pokemon's Pokeball to the ground to initiate a multi-battle, or try throwing food to group them together. Whichever works for you. Now as a time-saving tip, we can actually save time from redoing the same battles 
by using backup saves the game makes whenever you arrive at the campsite. If you look at the chart, you'll notice that there are four permutations that require you to knock out two Pokemon. Now instead of doing a multi-battle to knock out two Pokemon four times, you can cut that down to one by saving after you finish the battle. Continue with the rest of the permutation, reset the game back to the save after the battle, do the next permutation, and repeat until you finish that set of permutations. Once you've gone through the set, you can load the backup save by going to the title screen and press up, X, and B at the same time. This will bring you back to the campsite and you can start doing the permutations that start with a multi-battle to knock out three Pokemon. There is another variable that can affect the outcomes of the second horde, but I highly don't recommend it because it has a greater chance of losing a shiny Pokemon. But if you're interested and want to risk it for the biscuit, you can add in leaving the outbreak by flying far away or fast travel. Again, I highly don't recommend this. Hopefully, after going through the permutations, you'll come across that sweet shiny Pokemon you've been dreaming about. Big shout out to Austin John Plays for researching and popularizing the method, Anubis for shiny rates, and the community for more research and resources. And most importantly, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to see what I've been up to, hit subscribe and follow me on my other socials. Thanks for stopping by and hope to see you soon.